We're rolling, go whenever you're ready. Tell me about yourself. You tell me about yourself. Okay. I run our show's website, and I'm trying to get my EP interested in the story. I still don't have your last name. Shelley Wexford, PhD candidate in anthropology at NYU. Is this your first experience with activism? No. <laughs> As a minor, I was arrested in Seattle at the WTO protests. When you were arrested, were you involved in the, the violence? The violence? No. No, I'm nonviolent. I just occupy Wall Street. Okay, so you want to occupy Wall Street. Then what do you hope to accomplish? Well, we stay until our demands are met. The arrest and prosecution of the people responsible for the crash, the formation of a presidential commission to investigate corruption in politics, and the ratification of the constitutional amendment that outlawed legal designation of corporate personhood. You're going to sleep in a park until a constitutional amendment is ratified by three-quarters of the states? Yes. We mean business, Neil. Uh, Shelley, you started off with one clear and non-reasonable demand, and now you've got like 14 of them, including arresting the Lehman Brothers. Are you doing a story? You're giving advice. But I haven't been assigned the story yet, so I'm giving advice. And you can't have a protest unless the media covers it. The media is going to cover it, but they're going to cover the drum circles and the crunchy, uninformed college kids who are yelling at the earners, who coincidentally are the same guys running Time Warner News Corps and AWN. You don't have the patience for complicated things, though. I do. Yeah, then why do you take Wall Street bullshit, like limited government, seriously? There's straight up fraud being committed. Your show cover Casey Anthony. In our defense, we were the last ones to do that. <laughs> That's a lame defense. Where was Will McAvoy when Goldman sold its clients mortgage-related securities without disclosing that the hedge fund manager who chose the mortgages was betting on them to fail? When Citigroup sold its clients a mortgage fund with securities it knew would fail, so the banks could bank against its customers. Citigroup made 160 million, all of its investors losing 700 million. So I expect I'll see your cameras the next time girls go wild, but you know, frankly, until then, I don't trust you to get a fucking story anywhere close to right, especially one with distractions. I want this to succeed. Then you're on the wrong side of the camera. 